Yeah, let's see. Um, who had the most influence on you in your career and your persona? I'm sort of a mixed bag of influences from many different, many different personalities and radio people. The guy that first interested me in radio, his name was Ron Chapman from Dallas, C-H-A-P-M-A-N. Okay. He used to do the morning show on the station I grew up listening to, and he was the one that came up with all these crazy promotions I was talking about. He's still hanging in there. I don't, I don't know if he's on the radio anymore, though. Cool. Yeah, you're a very down-to-earth guy, and I love that. Well, with you here on the phone, Nick, we can just hang out, you yeah. know? Yeah. Let it all hang out. Exactly. <laughs> all right. Uh, let's see. Let's get random. If you were stranded on a desert island, what three things would you have to have with you? Uh, a boat. I guess that wouldn't <laughs> be stranded, would it? <laughs> I would definitely have to have my radio. Okay. Hopefully it would pick up something in the world. Yes. I would need... God, that's a... See, that's one of those questions. See, if someone asked you that, Nick, what would you say? <sighs> I would say... Um, it's easier to ask than to answer. Yeah, a bla yeah, a BlackBerry, just so I could get, you know, iHeartRadio. Okay, okay, put a BlackBerry on there. I'll steal that one. Yeah, me. yeah. A radio, a BlackBerry. <laughs> and, well, actually, with your BlackBerry, you got iHeartRadio. Come on. Right, there's that. So you could lose the radio and get, like, I don't know, Churiscaria... Delivering oh, Craig, meat. Can you deliver meat to the island? <laughs> I don't know. Forget that question. No, no, it's good. <laughs> if I was, on, I was stranded on an island, I would want my a, a radio, and I would want uh, a, a BlackBerry, and that's all I need. I don't need there anything else. Go. All right. <laughs> Very, you don't need to eat. <laughs> oh, and um, yeah, uh, Salugi's Pizza Delivery. Yeah. <laughs> S A L U G G I. <laughs> Salugi. Plugging away. <laughs> Absolutely. We love Salugi. Let's get even more random. What are three things you like hard and three things you like soft? <laughs> <laughs> My, uh, ice cream. Ah. Which could be either. Okay. <laughs> so is ice cream hard, ice cream soft. You ever have tempura, the, the deep fried? Yeah, deep fried, like fried ice cream? I love that. Do you Absolutely. Like that? Uh. Let's see, what else do I like hard? <laughs> well, Nick, what do you want me to say here? I mean, I, I, the first thing that came to mind, I don't know if I can use it. Um, I like I like my, my ice cream. What hard. are the tacos? you have hard tacos? I like my, yeah, my taco shell. Okay, okay. And one more hard thing. Um, and my questions. Ah. And, interview, it, and I want interview questions that are hard. Okay. Okay, hard. I'm soft. Uh, I like my kitty cat soft. Kitty cat. I like my blanket soft and my pillow soft. All right. <laughs> to get more serious here, let's switch gears. All right. What do you consider to be your greatest strength? Um, my curiosity. Okay. On the other hand, now what do you consider to be your greatest weakness? My greatest uh, Im impatience. I'm, I'm impatient. Uh, I'm with you. Yeah. We lose patience quickly. Though. <laughs> yeah. What's one thing your audience would be surprised to learn about you? Like, do you have a secret talent or something like that? But I'm actually a nice guy. Uh, um, I are play you? The, <laughs> I play the piano. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, I love to cook. Cool. What What do you love to cook? Oh, everything. everything. I love to cook everything. As a matter of fact, I like taking chances on things, and if they come out crappy, fine. At least I took a chance on it. Yes. Isn't that one of the Dalai Lama rules for life? Like, go into cooking and life with, I don't know, something. Yeah, with, with reckless abandon. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Go Elvis. Sure. Right. Before we get to a certain quick game, I want to ask you now, K-Rock has switched formats, and they're trying to compete with you and the Mighty Z. What are your thoughts? You know, it goes back to what I was saying earlier. Uh, we have competitor, we have competitors coming at us from all angles, mm -hmm. and you know, if it's not another radio station, it's too many people in the car when I'm trying to when we're trying to talk. You know, yeah. uh, I, 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 we we welcome competition, mm -hmm. it, but at the same time, it's competition. You know, yeah. it's just like you know, people's ringing phones, the Blackberry is a competition. If someone if there's a phone call going on, mm -hmm. and a, an iPod is competition. So I don't look at it, and all radio stations of all formats are competitors of ours. As long as there's a choice for them to make other than listening to us, mm -hmm. it's a competitor. True. That's a good answer. Uh, on your show, you've been talking about Twitter and tweeting and all that good stuff. Now, you have a Twitter, right? Uh, yes. Now, I know you have Elvis Duran. Do you have a personal Twitter for yourself or not? No, I don't. Oh. Uh, I, I find I barely have time for this one. Yeah. So I just I would never have time for a personal Twitter. Do you control the Elvis Duran Twitter, or is that someone else on the morning show? No, no, I do. Absolutely. No, I don't want anyone else messing with that, because there's a chance someone could embarrass me. Yeah, you're right, you're right. <laughs> no, now, no, I'm, I'm on it at all times. <laughs> Can you uh, follow me? I'll follow you. Yeah, <laughs> I, I'm sure to do it at Nick. At, at Nick Parker Live. Nick. Parker Live. I'll get it on today, okay? All right. And quickly, I know you're insanely busy. 
Let's just do a quick game that has been sweeping the nation in parts of Canada. Um, cheap Thoughts. You guys always have witty names. This is the best I could come up with. Okay? Uh-oh. I'm not cheap good. Thoughts. Yeah. <laughs> now, I'm going to say someone's name, and you have to tell me the first word that comes to your mind. The first thing okay. that comes to your mind. Okay, I'll try not to delay. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Here we go. Barack Obama. Super cool. Super cool. That took like five seconds. Okay, sorry. What the... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, Britney Spears. Um, skank. <laughs> Chris Brown. Uh, trouble. Hmm. Miley Cyrus. More trouble. <laughs> Lady Gaga. Love her. Yes. All right, Rihanna. Uh, miss her. Yeah. Miss Rihanna. How about this one? Tom Cruise. Looney. Yeah. Angelina Jolie. Mommy. Ryan Seacrest. Mommy. <laughs> Zach Efron. <laughs> Earwax. What, with the Q-tips? Yes. <laughs> and I heard today, just before you guys uh, signed off your show, you guys are trying to get him, right? Yeah, he may be on in a couple of weeks. <laughs> cool. Yeah, he's in town next week, I heard. Oh, is it next week? Okay, good. Maybe that's right. <laughs> you know more than I know. <laughs> All right. My man, Conan O'Brien. Talent. Yes. He's a genius. I, I love him. Madonna. Over. <laughs> <laughs> Oprah. Uh, wealthy. Lindsay Lohan. Um, no comment. <laughs> <laughs> no comment. That's the first thing. That missing. <laughs> oh, yeah, missing is a good one. <laughs> All right. Uh, Perez Hilton. Excellent. Yes. He's a genius. I know. He's great. He's a good guy. Yeah. Like, he's, I can't believe how... You know, pop culture, you know, has come to parallel Perez Hilton and what he does. No, he's awesome. I remember, I remember back when he was struggling, and we'd send him money and stuff to keep him afloat. And now he's, you know, he's worth a ton. Wow, that's awesome. Howard Stern, genius. Well, pretty much that's it for the game. Now I know you got to go, so just a quick couple of things. All right, um, if you were not in radio, I asked Dave Fox this question. He would be flying planes. What would Elvis Duran be doing? I'd be traveling. I'd be working at a resort somewhere or for a travel company and helping people uh, helping people figure out how to see the world. Okay. Would you be working for JetBlue? <laughs> that, that's, a, that's a possibility. <laughs> All right. Uh, quick random. If Elvis had a superpower, anything in the world, what would it be and why? Quick. I'd be invisible. Invisible. Yeah, so I could sneak around and, and uh, learn things about people I've always wanted to know. Interesting. Like Ryan Seacrest? No, no, we pretty much know everything he does. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and quickly, now since the FCC does monitor things at the Mighty Z, and since you're not on the radio right now, tell me, what is your favorite curse word, if you have one? Oh, fuck. Yes, yeah, say it again. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Any reasons behind that or no? Because it means so many things, and yeah. you can, you know, it could be uh, nice and, and sexy, and it could be, oh, my God, I... I, I, I tripped and fell. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. And there you go. See, it's a great word. Say it. Fuck. Love it. Again? No. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Yeah, as much as you want. Okay. Now, <laughs> besides expletives and curse words, are there any words that you would just not use on the radio simply because you dislike the sound or the meaning? Trousers. Trousers. Yeah. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> I hate the word trousers. And what do you think? The word panties. Isn't that a weird word? I love the word panties, but there are some who are a little afraid of them. Are you afraid of the word panties? I think I am. <laughs> it's okay. Go with that. One last one. What celebrity are you crushing on right now? Am I crushing on? That, yeah, that's hot or that you're just like, you know what? They're, they're pretty cool. They got it going on. God, you know what? I crush on all of them. But, um... I don't know. I'm not really crushing on any celebrities. Is it, right. it, does that make me an awful person? It, it kind of does, but that's okay. No. <laughs> put, put Perez Hilton on there. I think he's great, and I can I now consider him officially consider him a celebrity. Nice. Can I tag on you and uh... absolutely? We'll all crush on Perez. <laughs> all right. Cool. <laughs> and finally, the last question. We finally come to it. You've been praying and crossing your fingers. It was always the next one. No, not no. at all. <laughs> I'm having fun with you. Um, describe yourself in one word. What is the definition of Elvis? Summed up. In one word. God, see these. To you, these are simple questions. They are very <laughs> difficult answers. In one word, confused. <laughs> How you like that? I feel bad. I want to. <laughs> I'm confused about everything. <laughs> I'm with you. I'm with you. There you go, Elvis Duran. Awesome speaking with you. 
And I thank you so much for taking time out of your crazy... Thank you, Nick. If you ever need anything, just give us a holler, okay? You the man. I'll talk to you soon. Thank you, Nick. All right, bye. Bye. Nick Parker. Nick Parker is up close and personal with C100's Elvis Duran. Oh, we're hitting music. Music lives.